Hi, everybody. It's Stacy Sobel, and I'm here with the next installment of What's Going to Happen to Data Driven 2020. And I'm here with Cameron Kepford from House Hello. of Hair in Davenport, Iowa. Hi, Cameron. Hi, and how are you? Great. And you, I have, I heard great things about a session you put on for a friend of mine, Gail Fulbright. And oh, I called you, I think, at 6 a.m. the next morning and said, I want to book you for Data Driven. So you were. Yes, up. that was such an incredible call totally unexpected and i'm absolutely honored to be a part of this now you, what you did for dale was gail was a day long what you're going to do for us is an hour so you're going to have to pack it in but um, <laughs> you've done something really kind of unique to de develop yourself as, as an influencer and what what is it that you do with clients that is different than what so like what's catching people's attention is the entertainment that I'm adding to the service behind the chair. So it started out as me wanting to do TikTok dances with my clients, but now it's not even me that's pursuing my clients, it's my clients pursuing me. <laughs> and so weeks before they're coming in for their appointment, they're literally choosing certain like TikToks or real sounds on Instagram to do while they're processing like behind the chair. So they're actually coming in to do the dance and get their hair done at the same time. But yes, that's secondary it's, thing. Yes, it's <laughs> no longer like about the hair first. It's about just like the experience, the entertainment. I think that everyone needs to get pushed out of their comfort zone right now, especially after the last year and a half that we've had. So just to make people smile and feel comfortable and just like I said, get out of their comfort zone. I think people are just looking for that on so many different aspects. And so in the hair salon, it's one now. Now, I was watching your reels the other day and you have one with a gentleman and you're both in skirts. Do you provide the costumes or do they bring them? <laughs> oh my goodness. So that is my dad. Oh, that's And <laughs> my dad is like one of my number one supporters. And last Father's Day, he wanted a haircut and I was really committed behind the chair. So I used Father's Day as an excuse to go into the salon to cut his hair. And when in Rome, he was like, well, what TikTok can we do? So we did one. So then I had performed a TikTok, like in the skirt. It was a trend on, on um, Reels and on um, other social media outlets. So I decided to do it and it went viral. And when stuff goes viral, you get a, like 90% positive, but you get that 10% like negative feedback, which I personally don't mind. Um, I always feel like it's a sign that like you're getting people's attention. So I had some really um, interesting comments and my dad saw them and he's like, well, I don't like this comment. They're saying that I, that I don't accept you. And I, but I do, I love you. So I was like, well, we should do it together. And he was, didn't even hesitate. He's like, if you can find a skirt in my size, I'm there. <laughs> so I, I did provide the skirt for him, but I did provide two skirts for him and I had him try them on and he proceeded to go on to my salon's main floor asking the clients um, which one they prefer. Which one was better? Well, I, yes. it, it's good that he's a man that understands that, you know, women dictate <laughs> fashion and they, they have an opinion, so. Oh, he is a riot. I love that man. He's he's great. But you will see more of him on my TikTok and Reels in the future because he's got a, a little bit of like local fame. He went to the dentist's office and he was asked if he was on TikTok in a skirt. And so he's <laughs> like, I need more of this. <laughs> well, we hope you bring some of that fun to Data Driven, but you're also going to bring some real um, live data knowledge. Um, because as an owner, you're also explore social media and how to market your business through that. And you're going to be sharing some of the metrics you think are important for people to understand. Is that right? Absolutely. I started in this industry as a salon owner before I was behind the chair. So I have a really unique perspective on, on both roles. And so that's what's so great about being able to do that with my own team and now taking it on the road and talking to people like Gail at Headlines and other salons that are just seeing that, that I'm doing this and they're inviting me into their space like to help share that. So it helps like to connect everything. Um, but definitely like I'm going to have a lot of information all in that one hour uh, because it is a day's worth. But it will truly be impactful. And if you like 
truly listen to the tools that I'll give you, like it will make a definite impact in your business. Well, and I think it's social media is an area where a lot of owners struggle because they either try to make every post a marketing post that's pushing products or services, or they go the other route and it's, it's, it's got to be a blend of a lot of different things to catch, capture people's attention. It definitely is. I mean, me dancing around in a skirt with my dad does nothing for the hair care or hair color sales, <laughs> <laughs> but it creates a culture and it creates a comfort like for different people that you're not even knowing that you're targeting to want to come into the salon. And I have a lot of information on that. And it does get people to look at your Instagram feed and then, and then they catch the other things that are on there as well. So it really does, it does have it, a role. It does. It really it has a place and there's like some key things to take away from it um, as an owner, as a stylist, and then as like a collaboration of the two. It can be really powerful. Well, Cameron, I can't wait. It's going to be a great session. I can't wait to see you in September. And this is going to be a data driven, which will be co-located with America's Beauty Show, September 12th and 13th. And we're all excited getting pumped for the event. So thank you so much for sharing with us and we'll see you in September. I cannot wait to see you all. Thank you so much, Stacey. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.